Hi all, this is Pat with Right Channel Radios. Today we're going to be doing a GMRS radio installation in this 2019 Dodge Ram 2500. We're going to be installing the Midland MXT 575 50 watt GMRS radio along with this Midland 6dB antenna and this mount that is made specifically for these Dodge Ram trucks. Let's get started. All right, so first thing we need to do, so we're gonna go ahead and pop the, in, pop the hood on this truck and we're gonna install the mount first thing. So let's get this opened up here. All right, the mount is going to install on this front fender bolt and sit something like that. You need to remove this uh, factory bolt, which is then going to secure the mount. I think we will need to get that washer off underneath as well. You might need to, oh no, it's coming right up. There you go. Let's go ahead and let's get this bolt all the way out. Doesn't take much. And then all we need to do is install the mount underneath. Gonna see there is a little bit of area here, so we're gonna position the mount so that it, ha it is close to the truck but doesn't have too much contact with it. We'll get this nice and tight and make sure everything is properly lined up there. There we go. All right. That's a pretty solid, definitely gonna hold that 6 dB antenna. One of the questions we get asked all the time is how do I install, or how do I install a GMRS equipment to a CB antenna mount? So a lot of our mounts are specific to CB antennas and they'll have the standard half inch hole. As you can see with this mount, it has a half inch hole, but a NMO connection for GMRS or ham has uh, you know this big three quarter inch connection on it right there. Well, we have a very specific cable that's made, it's an NMO uh, coax cable that's made specifically for uh, GMRS applications. And the top of this connection, it's very simple. This just threads off and is, this was made to mount in this half inch hole. So it threads off, you just take the base, run it through, make sure everything looks proper on the top here, thread this in, um, and then snug it right up on the top of the mount. I like to make sure that the coax cable exits at a nice angle, grab a wrench, and then just lightly tighten this. And this is how you install an NMO coax cable onto a half inch uh, CB mount with a half inch hole. On these Ram 2500s, another question I get all the time is, how do I get the coax cable through the firewall? Well, it's different for every vehicle, but on these Ram 2500s down there, I hope you can see it, right there in the middle of the frame, that's where the emergency um, the cable for the emergency brake passes through. So we're going to nick a spot right next to that, and then we're going to pass the coax cable through right next to the emergency brake. But again, it's different for every vehicle. Get on forums and find out the best way for your specific rig uh, for this Ford Excursion, for instance. When we routed the cable underneath there, we are when we routed the coax cable, we went uh, through a plug in the floorboard. Once we have the mount installed and the coax cable attached, I like to close the hood to make sure that nothing is hitting harshly. You'll see that this mount also does have a nice little pad on it to protect the hood as it closes so you're not gonna mess up your paint. Now that the mount is installed and the coax is secured on there as well, we have nice clearance between the hood and the mount. We can go ahead and install our antenna. This is the Midland 6 dB antenna. 
and it just simply threads on to that NMO base that we installed earlier. I like to hold the coax in place and just get that on nice and tight. All right, so you can see that we have now pulled the cable, sorry about the terrible lighting, um, through the emergency brake grommet. And one of the questions we get a lot, so now we have, right, there's just a bunch of coiled up cable. So what now? Well, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pass the cable behind the pedals there, and then I'm going to coil this up. I'm gonna coil it up in a loose coil, lightly cinched in the middle. I'll show you how that's done. All right, you can see here with the excess coax cable, I've just put it in a nice loose loop. And instead of just doing one cinch, I did two cinches on each side. But the idea is that the cable is tightly coiled, but you have this nice long loop in there so you don't create um, any standing wave issues. All right, we just wrapped up the installation of the Midland MXT575 in this 2019 uh, Dodge 2500. I know that you guys got to see us install the mount, you got to see us install the antenna, and then move the coax cable from the uh, cab or the engine into the cab, uh, just following that that uh, uh, emergency brake. Anyway, from there, what we did for powering the radio is we actually powered it to one of the auxiliary switches. Dodge has a nice uh, system where you use some Dodge specific parts, but you can wire uh, the power of the radio to the auxiliary switches, and then we grounded. Uh, the radio, uh, the ground lead went directly to the frame so we don't get much uh, electrical interference or anything like that. So here is the radio attached. We have it in a handy cup holder, uh, cup holder mount, which is adjustable. We sell those for uh, over at Right Channel for all our radios as well. This is handy if you guys don't have a great place to put a handheld unit. The power supply for the radio is just down in the center console. So now the driver has easy access to their radio for comms when they're out hunting and uh, connecting with other people in the area. If this is helpful, please give us a shout over at Right Channel Radios.